this video. I'm going to be setting myself a little challenge and for today I'm going to be eating like Sarah's day. If you don't know who she is, she is a health and fitness based YouTuber. She is what inspired me to like start my YouTube channel. So we're we'll doing that. She eats paleo based, which is like how the ancient people would eat. Um, she doesn't eat dairy or gluten. I cannot be bothered going out and buying all gluten free stuff. So I'm just going to ignore that. We can just pretend, okay. And I do eat dairy, so that's a challenge. If you're not dairy intolerant, I wouldn't recommend cutting out dairy, especially in your teenage years, because you need it to get some strong bones and stuff. You don't want to be crippled when you're older. Just for today, I don't think I'm going to be having any dairy. So I just went shopping. I haven't had breakfast yet. So I reckon let's do that now. I'm gonna start off with a smoothie. I have not had a smoothie in a while. For breakfast in a while, it's been waffles, my recent addiction. So one banana in the thing. Just bought some coconut milk, so I think I'm gonna make like some sort of curry-ish chicken for dinner. So I love using coconut milk for that. A dob, because I want it really thick. This is the Coco Quench brand. Mmm. Right, get a Ish of protein powder. This is optional. She usually has protein powder in her smoothie, so why not? Get some cocoa powder. Now you tell me in the comments how you pronounce this. Is it cocoa, cacao, cacao? I like the sound of cacao. It just sounds feisty. So about a tablespoon-ish of that. This is maca powder. This is like, it's a weird taste, but I kind of like it. It gives it like a caramelly flavor. I'm gonna add some raspberry. This is my secret ingredient to making it taste caramelized. What's wrong with me? Some dates. Now, I'm just gonna give them apart. Put about four in. Here we have it. Right now, for some peanut butter, I would add some yogurt, but we're doing a dairy free breakfast. Because I eat dairy and yogurt every single day, so I feel like shaking it up and getting bored. So I'm gonna chuck some ice in and then we can blend it and I'll show you the result. We have it, my smoothie bowl. Let's give it a try. Delicious. I just went to pick up Nate. Look at that! Looks like I've been attacked. We're on a bike ride to the shop. I'm on my sister's bike because my tires are flat. I can't ride this bike. is a paleo bar. I'm gonna be making some granola bites. This was inspired by the video of her healthy snacks. I'll put a photo on the screen. I don't recommend riding a scooter home if it's your sister's and it doesn't fit you because you're gonna die. I don't think I've ever been this hot in a while. It's 40 degrees Celsius here in Australia. So, loving that. The first ingredient, I've just got some Cereal thing. A handful. Another handful of some coconut flakes. A sprinkle of goji berries. You can use whatever dried fruit you like. A sprinkle of hemp seeds for some protein. Some nuts. A bit of coconut sugar. And some puffed rice things. Give it a mix. going to add some coconut oil just spoonful and then some rice milk syrup you can use maple syrup agave syrup coconut syrup honey whatever you would like and in the mixture it goes you can give it a taste test so i'm just gonna grab a clunk mmm 
Right, there we have it. It's a bit overcooked in some bits, but that's fine. Tastes good. I've just been snacking on little clunks. Here is my lunch. I've got a kombucha, some buckwheat spaghetti, some leafy stuff, and some minced chicken cooked in tomato sauce. <laughs> off to tumbling in 40 minutes i've got camp next week i'm so excited I'm getting a gopro today i'm getting the gopro 7 buying it with my own money so far i've been enjoying this challenge it's weird like not having a source of dairy for my snacks but it's just for a day as i said before i don't recommend cutting out dairy if you're not intolerant to it but it's a challenge it's a and i'm still making sure i'm eating enough not about that hungry life and i think Right, I've just gotten back from camp shopping with my friends. And when I got home, I made a wrap with chicken, some like spinach and stuff, some avocado and some black beans. So I'm about to do some homework, just get everything done. Okay. Where's the freaking lyrics? I'm going to have a shower. I don't really feel like much because that wrap did fill me up. So I'm going to be making a tuna and roasted bean salad. I've got some cut up vegetables, some lettuce, carrot, cucumber and capsicum. Avocado and tuna, salt, pepper, and chili. Now, I like to mash my avocado in the tuna for some extra flavor. I don't know how I'm going to do that with a plate. Now, I'm adding some roasted fava beans. These are so good. I have these like every year for camp, so I'm going on camp, so I'm just going to vlog one of these and put it in my salad. I'm going to add a sprinkle of some black rice because that's what I have in the fridge. And I would add a lemon, but we don't have any. That's fine. We can make do without it. That's my really quick, really weird, random dinner with everything left over. I'm having this caramel, loving earth little chocolate thing. This is vegan friendly. I know Sarah is like a brand ambassador for loving earth. So I do love this chocolate. So yeah, that's my afternoon snack. Right. I've just been sitting down watching some TV, you know, doing some homework. With that like little thing of Loving Earth chocolate, I had a bowl of raspberries, strawberries, and overall to summarize, my meals were a bit messed up all over the place because my dinner was like just a bit random because I had breakfast really late and that just kind of messed me up. I feel pretty good. I feel energized. I don't feel tired. So yeah, I think that what I ate today was good. If I was to do it again, I'd probably have breakfast early and try and have three main meals and then three snacks because it was a bit just a bit all over the shop. So it was a challenge for me like not having dairy because that's something like I rely on as a snack. I definitely wouldn't eat like this every single day because not really maintainable for me. However, there are lots of meals that I kind of do have or similar to that she has like the buckwheat pasta with some tomato sauce some minced meat chicken for me because i don't eat red meat and some vegetables she adds nutritional yeast which is like a vegan cheese but i just add normal cheese when i wasn't on this challenge the breakfast is pretty similar i don't really have smoothie bowls for breakfast anymore which is weird they're usually like a snack for me concludes this video thank you for watching please give a like and if you made it to the end thank you very much i'm very proud of you and i'll see you in my next video